Good morning. It is May 29th, 2017 at 11.14 a.m. Uh, David Herman, alias Does the Artist, going to draw an armadillo head. <laughs> Don't ask me why I pick these things, but you know, 365 days in a year, a lot of stuff you got to come up with. So we're in kind of a sketch mode here. And uh, of course in verb. And I'm going to do a doodle of armadillo head. So let me get a little stronger here. All right, there we go. So we'll do some gesturing and we'll try and turn out a head in 10 minutes. I'm not going to go to part two. Uh, I'm just going to try and do it in one. So they could kind of a strange creature. I'm using a reference. Doing a little gesture drawing here to get started the way I usually do things. And we'll kind of go here and here. Here they have a little tiny eye like so right around there and their head sticks out a little bit more here and comes down to a point like this and head might be even a little bit broader up here comes up here like this this is where they get a lot of ideas for aliens and movies and stuff I think is when you look at the armadillo it's quite a curious creature does have face plates and they're very geometric and it has a couple of ears of course so let's just do like a shape out here but it's more this is a little longer up here this can come down like this oh yeah and they're kind of split a lot of times or broken so you gotta go like so they got these weird ears and we'll kind of connect that to the head like so and the other ear kind of comes up like that so we'll just have it like that. Try and do something with this plate. So let's see, it kind of comes down here. And that's the head. And then there's sort of like a harsh line in here and some groove in the face, you know. This can come down a little bit. Then it's got that armor. And we want to do the samurai armor because this is what samurais had to have looked at to get their inspiration for armor was the armor dillo. <coughs> I mean, this is it. You know, when we look at nature, we find the inspirations for the things that ancient civilizations made. You know, the scaly looking walls, the armor, the, the weapons, the things that they see in nature are the things they emulated. And rightly so. Rightly so. So then if I wanted to erase some of this stuff, I could, but we're not going to do it right now, okay? And then uh, the back of the armadillo kind of comes out like that. And then there's all these lines. Uh, there's these different rows of really cool, like, circles surrounded by circles that we won't get into. But let's do some geometric uh, stuff on his head. So you kind of just break that up. You know, if you look at armadillo, it's got six-sided, five-sided, four-sided. Uh, primarily, it's going towards the hexagon. But it's not all hexagons. So, you know, you're going to find any shape that makes up the head, these plates, Like so in here. And 
and you can do row after row after row. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do this an easier way. We're going to pick a shape and we're going to open this brush up a little bit. And I'm going to draw those shapes. So we're going to kind of just go like that. Maybe be a little bit bigger, the brush, and a little less opaque for now. And just kind of, because we're doing this quick today. So these would be all polished up as geometric shapes. They're highly geometric. They're, uh, if you really look at them, they're polygons, hexagons, squares, uh, rhomboids, trapezoids. <laughs> They're weird stuff, but we're just going to suggest one here so we can get a drawing done just for fun. Of course, I would be very detail oriented if I was doing this up, but we're just going to have a sketch here of our guy. And let's do his eye. So let's do uh, black little eyes kind of a teardrop shape here and then it kind of widens up here a little bigger there we go and then in the middle it has like a nice little highlight of an off-white put one up there and then we'll put a ring around it so it's kind of go like this and this is just fun I'm not even worried about getting into a finished piece of art today. I'm just having some fun myself. So whenever this conks out on us, which it's liable to do at any point in time, it does. I'm just showing you some ways to practice just practicing. You know, you just kind of just kind of uh, do stuff. You have no goal except to practice. And then we'll kind of like put some orange into this nose. Give a little character there. Everything's plated kind of. And then this, the face is rather coarse and the skin is rather leathery. So let's kind of do some leathery skin on our guy here. Let's. Pick in a tone. Let's get some of this going. Like I say, this is just for fun. <laughs> you guys have watched plenty of my art. I just do crazy stuff. Uh, this is kind of orangey in here. So we're doing a little sketch of an armadillo sketch for fun. Just the cartoony style. Uh, no real purpose. Just to practice moving our hands around, let's say, in the brush. Like that. And then I might just suggest the armor out here. So it could go like that. And then if I wanted to get gritty on that and make it kind of look like it, I could go to 8 and do this and say 25, 75 is too much. Let's go here and kind of gritty this up. Again, we're just doing a sketch. You would have to do a lot more work, of course. And then you can small that brush up, gritty up his face a little. Get that textured look of the armadillo. Remember, this is a cartoon. This is something for fun. And go a little darker. Start to build that. And even a little darker, you know? And make this smaller if you want to have control over the bumps and stuff. So, you know, he has a textured skin. This is how I would actually build it up over time. 